box of fans are here with trainer Pat Berry. Uh, just give us fans update the latest with the Magdaleno brothers. I know there's a lot coming up very soon. Um, you know, there's a lot of th great things happening. Uh, top rank, uh, certainly the uh, premier promotion company. Uh, they're working on some some deals right now. Uh, Jesse's got this great opportunity tonight, fighting on uh, right. Wayne's today, but the fight tomorrow. Right. Uh, we're looking forward to that. And uh, Diego, he's on top of the world right now. He's right there, by the WBA. Yeah, yeah. And, WBC have him up there. Uh, they want to fight for the world title. So that's that's really exciting. What's when that about going to take place? You know, I, I don't know. What's it been like to see both of the the brothers just kind of progress and flourish over the years and kind of grow as fighters? Yeah, it, 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 it's really. I'm not gonna say it was a, uh, one of those expectant things, but I, I seen the potential from very young in both of them. Right. Uh, and again, it's not like I have this great power. Yeah. It's just that obvious. They're, they're very dedicated. They're, they're diligent in what they do. I mean, they're focused. And, uh, very seldom do you see that in real young young people. They start off and then they get distracted. But these two have always been in the gym. They always, you know, continue to, to stay uh, focused. And uh, I always felt there was a championship at large in them if they stay, if they stay that way and they're true, true, true to the game. And they have. And uh, I think the sky's the limit. Now with Diego, uh, in his early fights, you know, he had about maybe four or five knockouts. The past year and a half, he's really out of nowhere. He's scored about four or five impressive TKO impressive, yeah. knockouts. Where does that come from? Where do you attribute that to? Yeah, you know, it's God-given. I mean, he's always had the talent. He's always had the the, uh, the strength, the, the inner strength. And yeah. That's what he had to pull out of. Uh, he had, there was, you know, boxing is much mental. as it is. In fact, it's more mental than it is physical. Yeah. And a lot of times from his amateur past, and just trying to land points and, and, and you know, uh, build up the lead. Uh, I, I don't think he was sitting down in his punches and really gripping them and letting them go. Yeah. So now, now he's kind of changed into that mode. He realized that, then there was the confidence level. He hadn't done it, so he wasn't really a true believer in himself. Right. But once he started hitting them and they started falling, uh, he's turned into quite the lumberjack. Gotcha. <laughs> and the two brothers, what maybe similarities do you notice about their styles and what differences do you also see in them? Yeah, you know, the styles are different. J Jesse believes in his power acting the game. He, you know, he's, he's brought that to the table uh, right, right from the get-go. Uh, both of them have tremendous defensive skills. They're, they're, right. they're very smart in the league. They're not out there just trying to trade punches with anybody. Yeah. But yet they're, they're really kind of different. I know it's kind of cliche it's to say as night and day. Here they are right now. That's <laughs> it. The Magdalena brother. Come on in here, Jesse Diego. Yeah, no been talking to Pat Barry about you guys. Uh, I know you have a fight tomorrow, Jesse. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on it? I'm ready to go. Uh, training camp's been good, so we're just ready for tomorrow. You know? Got you. And Diego, I was going to ask you, what are your thoughts on the 130-pound division? You know, there's guys like Adrian Broner. He likes to talk a lot. Just yeah. what are your thoughts on how soon you want to really go for a belt? I mean, I mean, we're in the steps in that in, uh, in the direction of you know going that way with the, you know the, the elite fighters. So uh, I, I uh, I've always thought of myself as an elite fighter and. Uh, I think uh, with our, our training and our uh, our teams, the strong, we're going to be up there pretty soon. All right, guys. Let's well, so the Magdaleno brothers. Look out for them in the future. Thanks oh, a lot. Yeah.